WFNN. Headline News Update. Hi folks, Basil Chapman here for the Tiger Financial News Network. At 11 a.m. market update, the Dow's down 575 at 32,326. The 32,272 level, of course, that left side low that we've been talking about is key support. Will it hold this week or will it just go right through? That's going to be very important. The S&P at this particular moment is also down sharply. Dow's down 1.7, the S&P's down 2.5 at 4,018. Much weaker took out that left side low and we've actually gone to the 4,007, 4,000 and yeah, 4,017 level right now. Um, that, that is just not good. Any turnaround by the end of the day has to see the volatility index, which is at 34.59, start to break under 34 and then go down to the low 33s as the Dow comes back to at least, uh, it can't do anything unless it can get to a minus 220 after 220 this afternoon. We're looking at the QQQ also very, very weak, um, even weaker now, it's down nine at 299.96. Key things are the crude oil is pulling back very sharply. Crude oil is down five at 104.64. This should be giving some relief to the general market. Look at the TLT, the TLT, which is bonds, and I discussed this a moment ago, uh, at 113.45, this is the key moment where the bonds have to show some kind of uh, um, upward movement so that yields can start to come down the next two days or so. It's kind of important. And we're looking at uh, the Bitcoin. Bitcoin is down sharply. I've been very negative on Bitcoin for a while. It's down 3,500 at 32,425. Even more important when we're looking at all these different aspects, what we've got to consider that, uh, let me just do this right now, that key stocks, um, and let's go just for now as a generic thing, the ARKK, which is the um, ARK Innovation Fund, at a lower low now, it's even it's getting close to the low that was made back in uh, 2020, I think it was, down in the 30-something area. So we're watching this very closely because the comeback 33 round number low, March of 2020, runs up to 125 and it's now trading at 42. The, until you start to see signs that the very weakest stocks are starting to find some kind of a bottom, and that some of the stocks in the big caps that have held very well are actually starting to move higher. I don't think we can get a rally that is significant in terms of weekly chart patterns. These big sharp moves to the upside, yes. We'll see what happens. Uh, as I say, day is young. Handing over to Larry Pesavento, who has his webinar week from tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you very much for today. It's the at 9 with Tommy Jr. and his market. Have a great day.